Uh, hello guys, um, it's Self Cure Pal, and today is uh, January 2024, and we're gonna talk about added sugar and uh, how it's it is a poison and uh, narcotic to other body. We're talking uh, about added sugar, so excess of sugar is poisonous to our mitochondria just like cyanides it inhibits three exons enzymes of it by eating sugar you inhibit the energy production added sugar in processed foods makes you addicted just like alcohol and other drugs do uh, not in one day but uh, over years, it's going to kill you. Sugar is virtually in all ultra-processed foods. Sugar does feed cancer cells at skyrocketing uh, level. So let's talk a bit about food. Uh, we mentioned already ultra-processed food. So food is a subtract that contributes to it either to growth or burning of the organism right so um, sugar basically added sugar does not contribute to burning but inhibits burning processes uh, by consuming an ultra processed food people burn less and gaining more weight unprocessed food includes of course sugar which is a main uh, part of it it inhibits skeletal growth as well um, is uh, let's ask yourself question is uh, ultra processed food a uh, food at all because it doesn't burn and doesn't make it grow technically ultra processed foods um, typically made from five or more ingredients okay they tend to tend to include many additives and ingredients that are not typically used in home cooking, such as preservatives, emuls emulsifiers, sweeteners, and artificial colors and flavors. These foods generally have a long shelf life you know what does it mean it's more addictive to keep it long and more processing as well uh, examples of ultra processed food soft drinks soda of course chips chocolate candy ice cream sweetened uh, breakfast cereal packaged soups chicken nuggets hot dogs fries etc if you put people with a chronic uh, diseases on real food diet, you eventually get uh, gonna get rid of those diseases. Intestines can convert small amount of sugar into the fat before it hits the liver. So it's about 10% in intestines. Uh, sugar cause exact the same damage to the liver as alcohol does. So glycation, oxidated stress, mitochondrial dysfunction drives insulin resistance and causing fatty liver. And now pan pancreas has to do more insulin because um, liver partly getting dysfunctional because it's got poisoned. So insulin level rise over the body and now you get risk for Alzheimer's, heart disease, cancer, virtually risk for any other chronic metabolic disease. All because what happened to your liver. Uh, sugar uh, sugar molecular, molecular is addictive, just like cocaine, alcohol, nicotine, yeah, uh, so sugar garlic is a drug of choice 
sugar withdrawal for let's say first seven days uh, gonna cause you irrit mm, to become irritant, low energy, hungry, uh, your dopamine level is gonna go down <clears throat> because um, and um, like crazy because by taking off sugar dopamine receptors not gonna generate enough of response at first it takes um, up to three weeks for those dopamine receptors to get back to function normally okay especially kids are sugar addicts now uh, not a surprise um, after those seven days of withdrawal of sugar from kids diet uh, gonna be like wow life is beautiful they can do the homework study less uh, irritable irritative they do not cause troubles at class or home parents saying i got my kid back because they did not realize what they had they had an addict this is true for adults too seven days is gonna be rough after that you after that you'll see the blue skies as long as you will not fall backwards unfortunately it is an addiction and the tendency to relapse exists for alcohol or cocaine let's say you have to do some search extent search but sugar is readily available for you always in a processed food ultra processed food it's everywhere and now a little bit about glucose and its importance I'm gonna talk later about sugar uh, that it consists from 50% of glucose saccharose uh, and uh, 50 percent of fructose so uh, glucose is so important that if you do not consume it your body makes it okay your body make glucose itself from fat and protein and uh, there is no cell in the body that requires a dietary sugar added one in fact it's not a nutrient because something you, uh, you need to burn or grow or survive and cancer is related to our modern society and uh, talking about uh, added sugar for last 150 years in america people uh, human body temperature went down 1.5 degrees by Fahrenheit imagine 150 years 1.5 degrees by Fahrenheit the temperature went down because uh, <clears throat> our mitochondria is broken because of sugar excessive added sugar inhibits three enzymes enzymes of mitochondria if you consume glucose beyond mitochondria capacity that's what's gonna happen <clears throat> sugar is a sucrose or table sugar and sucrose is 50 percent fructose and 50 percent glucose when you consume sugar from the fruit fresh fruit fruit the fiber prevents early consumption of it and uh, so it goes further into intestines where it's metabolized instead of liver so you actually fed your gut and protecting your liver all because to, of the fiber in the fruit so it's good sugar it's good glucose it's not added okay so 25 to 30 percent of our food goes to feed those bacteria bio human body is uh, quite adaptive as long as it eats the whole food 
the whole foods. Fiber is a food for bacteria. You want least amount of insulin to do its job. Okay. Excess of the insulin is reason for damage of our body organs, not the excess of glucose. So I'm gonna repeat it, it's very important. Excess of the insulin is the reason for the damage, not the glucose. Excess of glucose <clears throat> does damage to the small blood vessels, such as the retina, kidneys, nerves, and we call it microvascular disease. <clears throat> Uh, causes heart disease, uh, let's say heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer are derived by excess amount of insulin. I already mentioned insulin, right? <clears throat> because insulin drives proliferation. But about belly fat. Belly fat comes from stress because a cortisol hormone of stress is <clears throat> driver of that visceral fat. Overeating is a sign of stress treating, okay, stress suppressing. You're trying to suppress stress, eating chocolate, a lot of other foods. So eat real food. The effects of added sugar <clears throat> intake uh, uh, following higher blood pressure, inflammation, weight gain, obesity, diabetes, fatty liver disease, and even cancer and dementia. Bad skin, depression, increased uh, risk of dying from heart diseases. So eating too much sugar crowds out nutritious food and prevents you from meeting your nutritional needs. Natural and added sugars are metabolized pretty the same way uh, in our bodies, but for most people consuming natural sugars in foods such as fruit, vegetables, milk, <coughs> is not linked to negative health effects since the amount of sugar tends to be modest and is packaged with fiber and other natural nutrients. Some experts uh, recommend uh, nine teaspoons of sugar a day for males and six teaspoons of sugar for females. And just consider that one uh, 12 ounces can of soda contains uh, eight, uh, uh, eight teaspoons of sugar. High fructose corn syrup may be the most harmful of all added sugars. What's more is uh, fructose has been shown to increase the hunger hormone named ghrelin and make you feel less full after eating. Sugar found naturally in milk, fruit, and vegetable does not count as free sugars, okay? We do not need to cut down on these beautiful sugars. But remember that they are included in the total sugar figure found on food labels. A bit of um, good side of uh, sugar, we're talking not added sugar, it's bad anyways in all cases, but glucose, <clears throat> good sugar. Uh, so our bodies need uh, one type of sugar called glucose. Glucose is the number one food for the brain and nervous system. Just imagine, number one. Nerve cells and chemical messengers uh, need glucose to process information. On the other hand, the liver and muscles can store the leftover glucose in the little bundles called glycogen once the human body used uh, all the energy it needs. The leftover is going to be conserved in glycogen, <clears throat> so we can use it later. 
Glucose is a most reliable substrate for energy production in the heart. Glucose is the substance that is most easily converted into energy in the mitochondria. The highest source of glucose is the honey. And uh, a bit more uh, carbohydrates are your body's main source of energy. In fact, your muscles and brain cells prefer carbs more than other sources of energy like triglycerides and fat, for example. And, and now uh, that's the usual stuff for if you please subscribe, it's free. And put a like, comment, questions, spread the love. You know how YouTube algorithm works. Thank you and you're welcome. And uh, just in case if you want to order speech, personal appearance, group, family, consulting or personal, please call or text 845-709-4501 or shoot email to selfcurepal at gmail.com and a bit of uh, disclosure at the end. Uh, remember, I'm not a practicing doctor, despite of having a medical degree and experience. I'm not um, prescribing medical treatment. I am not treating any medical conditions of patients, not trying to diagnose. I present all this information simply for educational purpose only. This information is strictly my opinion and based on information currently available. I believe everything to be true and accurate. You and only you are responsible for your health and choice. Take care, stay healthy and happy.